Hello friends and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duo video. In this video I'll be talking about chapter progression and the stages and specifically how to counter the stages that had Bison and had uh, Jury. Uh, I got some questions uh, late night before and uh, the person who asked actually bypass it and I had other questions from people asking me how to bypass B uh, Bison. As you see I'm in the last stage. Wow that's a big pile. Oh that's cool. Um, and uh, it's pretty not that hard, not that easy. It needs a little bit of concentration, uh, uh, to uh, specifically on Bison, just to hit him with the with the Zangief. I'm gonna show you the replays and the videos. I did them live, and uh, I continued. I did something else. Uh, it was the last day for us having mercenaries, so some stages I use mercenaries. I'm gonna show you a run where I use a mercenary just to finish a fight, and how mercenaries are helpful and OP, especially uh, Evil Ryu, uh, Goken. Now uh, I've used Goken in a mercenary stage; it was so easy to bypass. I, nobody uh, actually died on my team, and um, you can use Ken. Ken is also viable uh, still. Uh, one of the updates that I've got on my account is uh, Dalsim, he got the 6 out of 6 cars, now I can destroy stuff. I need to make him plus 30, but slowly I will make him. 6 out of 6, it means uh, uh, here in the guild Shadowlands, you can absolutely destroy rankings and go up. I didn't try it yet, I got it after I did all my raids. Uh, you go from, let's say I'm 250 here, I go to 300 or 400 million. Uh, this is how much Dalsim affects this mode. Um, for the first fight, I used Guile Team with uh, B Zangief for interruptions and Street Poison for buffs. And on specific points, I use uh, Zangief. He's the tank. I used him to use his C2 to apply the passive negation on Bison, and then I killed him with the C3 of Guile. And that was how I defeated the stage. Everything else after that, it was easier because. Uh, I, I, I had my team uh, ready and I knew when to strike and how to hit them. The strategy behind it is you need to make Bison get low in two or three rotations, maximum three rotations, but in two rotations and then end the fight because you're gonna kill him with the C2 of Zangief, not uh, be Zangief. On the other teams, this is how my regular other team always work and what I use. I use uh, Fashion Blanca, I use Dalsim and uh, Summer Yang. And I put Bison in the front as a tank because he doesn't die and he takes all the hit to the face. And I start with uh, Fashion Blanca. And before the six cars, I used to use C1 of Dalsim, then Fashion Blanca, then Bison. And uh, now that I have his six out of six, I don't need to use his C1 actually because he gains the penance every time he does a combo. So I use C1 uh, Super of Fashion Blanca, C1 of Summer Yang, then. Uh, C2 of Fashion Blanca, C3 of uh, Dalsim, and Bison will explode in the in the front of the lineup. He will not explode in the back end of your lineup and put your main carries or uh, your other units in risk of taking a hit in the face. And uh, you can use always Viper instead of Dalsim if you have her built. Specifically, people now that uh, are using the Soul Power and upgrading her to the maximum levels. Uh, she is good, uh, the burning kink becomes a little bit better, but uh, she gains the stats and the crit if you have the stars on her. As you see here, F3 stars, crit damage, crit damage, crit, crit damage, and she gains uh, some stats w which uh, could be shown available in the stats window when you upgrade her here and you invest in her, defense bonus, attack, HP, crit, and yada yada. I will not uh, click more on this page because if you click quick upgrade by mistake it will upgrade everything so I don't want to do that. Um, I'm waiting for them to implement uh, the soul power for everybody else so I can use it on specifically Fashion Blanca and Dalsim. These are the main units. These are the most OP, two most OP units in the game so far. Uh, they scale very much, uh, specifically Dalsim. Dalsim has no cap on his scaling so he can uh, scale until no limits so this is why in my in my eyes in my opinion he's the most op unit especially specifically when uh soul engraving or soul uh power will be applied to him i think he will go crazy and he will be the best unit in the game but until then we're gonna watch what will happen so i'm gonna leave you with the replays and we'll go with the first replay so here 
uh, 37-24. As you see, Gal team with Sweet Poison in tag position, uh, be Zangief for interruptions and Zangief for tanking, and because I want to use a C2. Uh, at the start, I time the interruptions carefully, and I do normal rotation, Guile, Sweet Poison, be Zangief, and Guile. Uh, I try to make them get hit and take damage as much as possible without killing Bison, of course, because sometimes the crit are, are massive and you just crit Bison. As you see, he's low on HP now. He's almost at 25%, so I go with Guile and I hit him with the with Zangief C2. As you see, Bison is the first one to die on the team. Actually, the other unit with him died, so I got the rotation again and I start and I interrupt and I continue. No more uh, any reason for me to use uh, Zangief, uh, normal Zangief C2. I use Beast uh, C2 for interruption, specifically because I have Kami now. And here I didn't uh, care about Kami. I knew that she would kill Zangief, but my whole lineup will stay alive. So I let her do her super on Zangief. He's dead. And now I can go and do my rotation and kill her. And this is how I bypass this stage. You can repeat it again or slow it down if you want, but you can use another lineup, but you need to have Zangief on your team to to just remove the passive. Trust me, it's so easier to remove the passive than kill him uh, with, with Viper, backline and stuff like that. This is the random uh, stage. I think this is the stage, the same stage of Bison. I was uh, uh, trying to finish it with Dalsim. I was running out of time. The, the units are not dying. I, I was just running out of time and I needed more damage because Dalsim doesn't provide that much of damage. So I was like, this is the last day to use Virgil. So why not? Let me use him. He's really fun to play. I wish he was obtainable in other means, other ways, or, or we could like at least get him to double S. I would play him in my lineup. He's so cool, a unit that will not die even if, look at him, 1 HP the entire fight, just rotation after rotation. As you see, my entire lineup is not dying because of Bison and and uh, and Virgil staying alive. And then in the end, the damage wrap up, Poison comes from tag position, now she's the one doing super and her super hurts. It hurts like a bitch. So I decided here to take it slow and uh, do the normal rotation with the... Uh, Fashion Blanca and Bison uh, C3. So Fashion Blanca, I used the C1 of Virgil because I needed C1. Then Fashion Blanca and uh, Bison. And as you see, explosion of Bison killed her. It was a GG. I'm not telling you go get a mercenary and play them or, or whatever. If you have a mercenary, that's good for you. But if you don't, uh, if you have a very well built Viper or very well built uh, uh, Dalsim, uh, especially 6 out of 6, you can play him here and you'll have no problems at all. Just put some healings uh, and that's it. Uh, Summer Yang will help you. 37-32, this is the stage for Jury. And everybody keeps telling me Jury, Jury, Jury. She's not hard. She's not hard. The most count, best counter for her is the Charm EX. As you see, I have the Charm EX as the first EX move that I have. I just wait. I hold on a little bit. I... I, I uh, for, for to time it perfectly and when she does her super and it's expiring the super animation is uh, going off I just hit her with the with a charm it hits her tank everybody hits her tank and you're staying alive nothing happening to you as you see I started the combo really quick because I want them to burn I want them to burn from the start and as you see here boom she starts her super I hit the charm Hugo that uh, get charmed I don't care if Bison takes a hit. Everybody, Adon, <laughs> Poison, Jury hitting their own tank. It's really funny. My Dalsim died here. I used him in the start. But as you see, he doesn't deal that much of damage. Adon killed my uh, my uh, Summer Yang, but it doesn't matter. The shields and the dodge, uh, dodge from uh, Fashion Blanca kept him alive. So uh, I start with Fashion Blanca, uh, Bison, Fashion Blanca. Of course, I wait a little bit for bison to do his shadow here you go his shadow attack so fashion blanca bison c1 fashion blanca c2 and uh adon can't go to my fashion blanca he's hitting my uh, bison so it's a gg he hits bison i start with a with a super again and he's dead and that was it so as we see it's not 
that hard it only needs focus jury stages are super hard super easy super hard if you don't know uh how to time your ex move with charm if you don't have the charm ex and you want to fight fight her if you're still on early stages i have another video i will link it in this video how to counter a jury it's really simple really easy you just wait for her to do her first super her first super will not be attacking you do in the mid animation, not at the start of the animation or the end of the animation, in the middle of her animation. Her animation takes 1.2 seconds. So at 0.6 seconds from her start, when she started to do the animation, at 0.6 seconds, just uh, start your super and, and uh, interrupt the C1 that comes after. When you interrupt the C1 that comes after, the whole chain uh, gets interrupted. She'll not hit her C3. And on the next rotation, after that, Whenever she want to start her super again, she gained already the buff at the first start. So, so, so you don't need to interrupt the C1. You need to interrupt her as soon as she starts her super. So this, this is how you counter uh, a jury. I know and on early stages before the game, we didn't understand so much what was going. We thought it was her uh, FS move and she can't be interrupted and stuff. No, it's not like she can't be interrupted. Her C super can't be interrupted when she's gaining the buff. And that's it. Not the, it doesn't require any plus 30 or whatever. That's how she is when you fight her. So all you need to do is interrupt the C1 that comes after. And then you can do your rotation normally. For Bison, uh, if you have Viper, yeah, it's perfect. If you have another interrupter, like if you have Nero, you can interrupt with his C1. If you have Honda, you can put him in tag position if you don't want him to die in the front. Or you can put him in the front and use his C1. His C1 stuns also and interrupt the combo chain. But you don't know, need to go all, of, all over these shenanigans or whatever. You can just like play Zangief. Zangief is good. If you ha built him for 6 out of 6, I know it's a, it's a big investment. But Zangief is one of the priorities in all of the game. He's arguably the best tank in the game before Goken or as a normal factional unit. So uh, building him, having him go to 6 out of 6 will help you massively, especially if you're playing PvP and you have three teams and you want to go to the final showdown. He's one of the best tanks to put, uh, especially against uh, Flame, Thunder and, uh, and Soul Damage. That was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching and as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fight. Time to fight.